Welcome back to Your Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker, the weekly radio show that informs and educates you on how to buy or sell real estate. And it does it with Barb Schlinker, the host of the program and the owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Barb, most people are very concerned about which comes first, sell first, then live in temporary housing or buy first, then sell at your leisure. This gets a little bit complicated, but what are some of the solutions that you have, Barb, at your home sold, that you have, Barb, at your home sold realty that can help solve some of these problems? Well, Richard, I know from talking to many sellers every year, most home sellers want certainty that their house is going to sell. They want certainty of getting the price that they want and need. They want certainty that things are going to go smoothly and that their sale will go through and certainty that they're going to find a destination. And of course, certainty of having the funds to improve their lifestyle. So it's different for different people. Some people pick their next destination first and then they sell, which is a lot of times works out really well. It's probably the most low stress way to sell a home. If you can financially swing it, I meet a lot of folks that are fortunate enough to have a paid for home so they can basically go buy their next home and then move at their leisure and then come back and, you know, kind of sell at a comfortable pace. Um, so I think most sellers want a sure thing and it doesn't matter if it's cash or not cash, right? It, what matters at, at the end of the day, at the closing table, the sellers are going to get cash anyway. They just don't want the whole house, the whole sale to be derailed and have it go back on the market. That's no fun. It's very devastating for a lot of people. Um, and sometimes it's things certainly out of my control, it's out of the seller's control and it's just maybe the buyer got bad information. Maybe something came up that we didn't know about. I've seen lenders make mistakes about qualifying buyers. A couple, I had a recent one where the lender kind of jumped the gun and said, hey, I can pre-approve this buyer, even though they haven't started their new job yet. So when he finally got his, his job offer letter, there were a lot more hoops that that person had to jump through before he could close. And it meant it would take months longer. So um, we, uh, we try to deep dive as possible to check to see how solid the buyers are because we don't want any surprises, especially if we're halfway through the process. Um, and you know, some agents will um, oftentimes make offers, you know, that might not be realistic, but the, at the end of the day, the buyer, like, like as an example, they'll, they'll push the price higher, maybe to cover their loan closing cost. When we're thinking, mm, maybe we can't find similar sales that justify that price for the appraisal. So it's kind of a fine line that you have to walk. Um, and so that happens sometimes and, and many times these days, buyers are asking the seller, in addition to the seller's closing costs, to pay their loan closing costs in order to buy the interest rate down or do a permanent buy down on the rate. And a lot of the builders are offering those deals as well. That's why the builder sales are doing so, so well right now. Um, and, you know, some there, there are problems that'll, that'll probably take place in almost any transaction. There's going to be a problem to solve. It's pretty much guaranteed. So how does the seller really know that they're hiring the right team that can guarantee that the process is going to go well, it's going to go smoothly? Hire the team that gets them the top dollar. Hire them the team that offers the least amount of hassle in the process and guarantees a smooth on-time closing. Don't get me wrong. I have some smooth on-time closings, but... There's going to be bumps and valleys throughout pretty much any transaction here and there. The key is to keep everybody informed so they can make a good decision to whether or not to move forward. Uh, and if you have a house to sell, it puts you as a buyer at a disadvantage because, um, you know, it's sort of contingent on this other thing happening. So it's not as strong as an offer to a seller as somebody that's making an offer that does not have to sell a home in order to buy their next home. 
Uh, and I ask this question every time when I meet with sellers, how do you feel about a buyer making an offer on your home contingent on their home selling and it's not sold yet or it's not even on the market yet? How do you feel about that? And most of the home sellers are like, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all um, because there's no certainty of getting to the finish line. There has to be some reason, you know, and some of these agents will try to pitch it really hard. They'll go, oh, it's a good house. We're going to price it right. It's going to sell. All the homes there are selling, blah, blah, blah. But uh, it's not always the case. What they say and what really happens could be two different things. So there are ways around this dilemma, having a house to sell before you buy. Uh, one of them is there's a couple of different programs where you can actually pull your home equity out of the home and buy your next home without selling your current home at that same moment and without making your contract contingent. And those are part of the things that we offer to our home sellers so that their offers won't get rejected. We also have ways of protecting our home seller against those types of offers. If they don't have any other choices and they want to entertain an offer like that, then we have some ways of handling those offers so that everybody's happy, and we, but we can still market the home so that other buyers have a chance to throw their hat in the ring in case buyer number one doesn't work out. And you need to verify everything because I think clients absolutely demand certainty in the home selling process for sure. Uh, my name is Barb Schlinker. I'm the host of the show, Your Real Estate Voice, also the broker owner of Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. Barb has the buyer's team. And we're really talking about the certainty of the home sale. And what do you do? What are some ways that you can actually um, make that transition if you need to sell a home, but you need your proceeds out of the home to buy your next home? And I've got some great ideas for you. And if you are thinking of making a move, we'd love to talk to you. We offer a free in-home consultation on what to do, what not to do to get your house ready for sale. Um, we'll give you a good idea of a price range of what your home will sell for, how much you'll put in your pocket when it sells. And of course, we'll share with you all of our buyer opportunities, which include our exclusive database of over 27,820 buyers in waiting, our buyers on Zillow, our buyers on Realtor.com, our citywide buyer agent network, and share with you our guaranteed sale program and our worry-free move-up program. And all you have to do is go to barbhasthebuyers.com or call 719-301-3900. Richard? You're listening to Your Real Estate Voice with Barb Schlinker. She's the host of the program and owns Your Home Sold Guaranteed Realty. In addition, Barb, we've gone from nearly all home selling for a premium price to homes sitting longer on the market and some homes not selling at all. How do you give your home sellers certainty when it comes to sale? Well, um, I think... Part of it is that you have to make sure that they understand the market before they position their home for sale, that they really get a, a very realistic idea of what homes are selling for, what they look like, the ones that are selling, how they can compare their home to that home. Uh, a lot of people will kind of hang their hat on one or two particular things about the house, but it's, it's kind of the overall package. But we have some options to help a seller get the process started. Like one of our programs is the buy now, sell later. And we have um, basically an investor that will come in and give you, it's not a bridge loan, it's actually uh, you borrowing money against the mostly paid for house. That's the best scenario for this type of program where you can take equity out of your home, not have to qualify for a payment, and be able to buy your next home first. And then after that, they give you a certain amount of time, 90, 120 days to sell your existing home. So that's one of the easiest ways to do it. Um, if you need to have your equity out of your home to buy your next home. Um, so, and that's great for people that un are unable to qualify for two house payments, or they want to move first before they actually put their house on the market. You can also get a bridge loan. Uh, a lot of these local lenders, uh, you can go right on their website, 
and ask for a home equity line of credit and you'll get approval in just minutes. And that line of credit can be paid off when your house sells out of the closing. In that case though, you have to qualify for that payment. And if you still need to get a loan on the other sale when you're purchasing, you do have to qualify for payments in that case. Um, and then there are, are other opportunities where once your home goes under contract and maybe your past inspection, that's another opportunity to go out there and pick your next home, go under contract. Because most sellers will accept a sale contingency if your home is already under contract and moving through the process. We also have over 64 high net worth cash buyers that can basically cash you out of your home. They do have high expenses. They don't necessarily offer full market value, but it is another option for you if you need to sell very, very quickly. You can also tap into our 27,820 buyers in waiting, most of which are gonna pay 100% of market value for your home. So if you are thinking of making a move, give us a call at 719-301-3900 or go to barbhasthebuyers.com. Richard? You've been listening to Your Real Estate Voice. And Barb, it's time now to talk about your hot new listings, the ones that you've got coming up and the ones that you're excited about. Barb Schlinker, host of the program. Oh, I'm so excited, Richard. Featured this weekend a beautiful townhome that has spectacular views, completely remodeled, perfect downsize home at 5114 Luisia Point uh, over there next to Old Farm, priced in the low four. So come on down and check it out. We're going to have it open uh, today, right now. And then we also have a beautiful home out on Powers Road on 35 acres with a great outbuilding in the mid threes, a great home in Lavanya Place and Fountain in the mid fours, a fabulous townhome in prestigious Briargate in the low threes. And we also have a, a gorgeous home on Palma Valley in Glen Eagle on 260 Palma Valley that's in the, in the process of being remodeled right now with fresh bathrooms and fresh carpets. And it's going to be amazing when we, when we finish, which will be this week. Great home, two great homes out in Peyton in the mid sevens, one on Gold Lane that has five acres and a solar system. Another one on a Cowie Way, beautiful property, great horse property in the mid sevens. And then we also have Sneak Peek coming up, a fiveplex under 450. That's a great buy for those investors. An amazing remodeled D20 home on Snowbird in the mid fives. Um, spectacular home in the Broadmoor on Star Ranch Road in the mid to upper eights. And we also have a great home in the Powers Corridor on Riverdale in the low fours. And one more coming up, a great home on Allegiance Drive in the 80921 zip code, close to the Air Force Academy, beautiful home, backs to open space in the low sixes. If you'd like to find out about all of our sneak peek homes, go to barbhasthebuyers.com. Did you know, Richard, last month I had 729,000 impressions just on that website. That means when people search, it shows up. And out of that, over 9,000 people clicked on my site in one month. So that's the place you want to be. Richard? They don't teach people how to market in real estate school. It's only a month long. They don't cover that. You have learned it by doing it year after year and staying up with all of the latest trends on social media and electronics as well. You've been listening to Your Real Estate Voice. It airs every Saturday, 11 o'clock, right after Larry Kudlow. And if you're thinking of making a move, call Barb at 719-301-3900 or visit barbhasthebuyers.com. Remember, you can also see replays of the show on Barb's YouTube channel, Barb Schlinker, or listen to the podcast on all of the popular podcasts platforms like Apple Podcast, iHeartRadio, many, many others. Thank you for listening. To reach out to Barb, call her at 719-301-3900. Barb, great talking with you. Have a great week. Talk to you next weekend. My pleasure. You have a great weekend as well.